India has harnessed the opportunity provided by the G20 presidency to effectively articulate and embed the priorities of the global south in the larger global conversation on the MDB reforms. I move to the second, laying the building blocks for a globally coordinated and comprehensive policy and regulatory framework for crypto assets. The global push for clearer policies on crypto assets has gained momentum under the Indian presidency and a global consensus is emerging on the same. The presidency will support the IMF and the FSB in, and FSB is also setting the contours of the regulatory framework for a globally coordinated approach to crypto assets. So the presidency with the support of IMF and the FSB is setting these contours. The IMF and FSB synthesis paper about which I've spoken to the media earlier, including a roadmap. On that, I just want to give my observation. This synthesis paper delves into how the policy and regulatory frameworks developed by the IMF and the FSB alongside the other standard setting bodies will fit together and interact with each other. This paper is now available in the public domain for all of you all to see. The third one which I'd like to draw your attention to is the financial inclusion and productivity gains through digital public infrastructure. India, as you all are aware, through the India stack, became the first country to develop all three foundational DPIs, the digital identity, the real-time fast payment, and a platform to safely share personal data without compromising privacy. So embedded this concept in the G20 financial inclusion agenda by formulating G20 policy recommendations for advancing financial inclusion and productivity gains through digital public infrastructure. This recommendation, this set of recommendations cover five aspects, use of DPIs and accelerating financial inclusion, fostering well-designed DPIs, regulatory and supervisory aspects of DPI, institutional and governance arrangements by DPI, and ensuring customer protection. So DPI has also been integrated into the G20 Financial Inclusion Action Plan the FIAP, which will run between 2024 and 2026. That's a strong legacy of the Indian presidency. We also uh, assume the co-chair of the Global Partnership for Financial Inclusion, the implementation of the Financial Inclusion Action Plan, as well as the policy recommendations on DPI, will remain as areas that will continue to be heard across the G20 Forum. So uh, the fourth one which I'd like to highlight is the debt resolution under the common framework and also beyond the common framework. Since its establishment in 2021, only Chad as a country uh, has had its debt restructured. The others have been waiting. So since India took over the G20 presidency, Good progress has been made in the ongoing country cases under the common framework of debt treatment and the three countries in that are Zambia, Ghana and Ethiopia.